Hello and welcome back to Gmatting. Uh, today, uh, we, in this video, we'll be covering uh, more uh, counting concepts. Uh, so, uh, what we'll do today is basically go through uh, a few problems, a couple of problems which test uh, you on your combinatoric skills. So, this is an extension from my last video. Uh, which where we covered uh, concepts the basic concepts of counting in this video I would like you to go through uh, a couple of problems where I show you how to apply those concepts and then maybe in the next video uh, we'll take up a fewer uh, uh, a few more problems which would be tougher and maybe uh, the videos next to that uh, uh, will cover more tough problems so but for this video we'll just keep it simple we'll go through two to three problems and we'll see how we apply the basic concept which we learned in the last video uh, if you if you uh, if you think you need to refresh your concepts I would suggest you to go back to the video and come back here later but otherwise we can simply start so uh, okay let's start with the first question so this this is a pretty uh, common question uh, on common tricks and uh, here they're asking you to arrange uh, you know the letters of this word computer and they have given you know two situations so you have to uh, get the answer based on these constraints so let's let's see what the first constraint is so it says M must always occur at the third place now the first thing I do here is uh, I'll always uh, make these blank spaces uh, there are eight letters so I'll make eight blank spaces I'll fix M here now you don't even have to look at this place so what you'll do is simply look at the rest of the places one two three four five six seven and the rest of the seven letters can be arranged in seven factorial ways since there are since there are no letters repeated here that simply gives you the answer this was fairly simple N let's move on to the next constraint here it's it gets a bit tricky so it says vowels occupy the even positions so first of all you have to figure out what even positions mean so this is the first position so this is an odd position this is the second position so it's an even position so this is a fourth position sixth position eighth position so there are basically four even positions here where you can place the vowels now how many vowels do you have here there's an O there's an U and there's an E there's an E right so there are three vowels but you have four places how, so now uh, you know how, 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 how can you uh, you know arrange these vowels in four places so what you can do here is let's let's assume for the time being that uh, there's a consonant uh, you know uh, so, uh, which, which we take up at random and we say now we have four letters and we can arrange these four letters in four positions in four factorial ways right but we can also choose this uh, this unknown letter in five ways right because you have five consonants left so this is five ways so the total will be four factorial into five ways of choosing that uh, you know fourth letter so this is the ways uh, th these are the ways in which you know three vowels and one consonant are uh, arranged in the even places now you are left with odd places and four more consonants so four more consonants in four places can be arranged in four factorial ways so the total ways would be four factorial into four factorial into five which is as good as saying four factorial into five factorial right this could also be done in a different manner uh, so it's all about how you think and you can go about you know solving it that way so now let's say you have vowel one vowel two vowel three consonant 1, consonant 2, 3, 4 and consonant 5 right now how many ways you can place this vowel 1 you can place it in 4 ways right because you have 4 even spaces so now since you have already placed vowel 1 the vowel 2 can be placed in 3 ways vowel 3 can be placed in 2 ways now there's no fourth vowel so you know this 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 gets over here now we move on to the consonants the consonant 1 can be you know arranged in 5 ways because you have 5 places to uh, uh, put it in and there are you know so you can put it in 5 places uh, 4 places 3 places 2 places and 1 place so this again gives you the same thing because this is 4 factorial 
I mean there's a one missing but you know one doesn't make a difference you can simply say it's four factorial and this you, you can say it's five factorial so the answer is again four factorial into five factorial okay so now let's move on to the next problem uh, okay so this problem is again uh, with you know uh, it says that there's a uh, there there are two horses golden rod and no hope uh, funny names but anyway so are in a horse race with six contestants how many different arrangements of finishes are there if no hope always finishes before golden rod it's funny that no hope finishes before golden rod so 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 basically it, this guy has some hope <laughs> okay uh, just kidding so let's move on if all the horses finish the race okay okay now uh, let's say this horse is G and this horse is N okay now uh, the rest of the horses are H1 H2 H3 H4 okay so now uh, this guy no hope always finishes before golden so so whatever the case be I mean this N is always before the G right so let's say these are the standings you know uh, if this guy this guy you know four five six so there are six you know h1 h2 h3 and h4 so this guy is before g right so this is what they're asking so even if n is here g can be here 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 so so i mean th this is basically what they're asking so let's let's see how in how many ways it can be let's say no hope you know finishes first okay then g can, you know so there would be like five spaces left right these are you know five spaces so g can be here 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 or here right because in any any uh you know any case the the constraint is satisfied that n is before g so these five places can be filled in in five factorial ways right now let's say no hope finishes second so you have this guy here now g cannot be here right because you know g has to be here so this place sh can be filled in only four ways right because you know n is gone g is has to be here so only four guys left can be here so that's four ways then this place can be filled in in four ways again because now you have the g also so now you have you know three horses and the uh, g horse that's golden rod so this is four ways three ways two ways one way right here it was five four three two one so this gives you four into four factorial right now let's say no hope finishes third so this would be four and three and this would be again three two and one so here what you are seeing is it's 4 into 3 into 3 factorial right so now this this can go on and on and and you can you can simply figure out that the next one would be 4 into 3 into 2 into 2 factorial and then the last one would be into 1 factorial now uh, you simply add these cases but there's a simpler way of how you can add these uh, uh, you know add these figures so what we are seeing here is if you if you place this 4 with this 3 factorial this gives you 4 factorial into 3 right here again if you leave this 2 and 4 into 3 into 2 factorial it's again 4 factorial into 2 here again it's 4 factorial into 1 here it's 4 factorial into 4 and here you can write it as 4 factorial into 5 because that's 5 factorial so now you have 4 factorial common so you can take 4 factorial common and it would be 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 so that gives you 4 factorial into 5 plus 4 9 3 12 14 and 15 right so this is 24 into 15 this is 240 plus 120 it's just a shorter way of doing it because if you multiply with 15 that's basically 24 into 10 and 24 into 5 24 into 5 would be half of this so this gives you 360 this should be your answer okay uh, you can go over you know you can go back rewind the video and go over it again see how it was solved if you didn't understand it the first time that that's fine that's the beauty of you know videos next uh, let's move on to the next uh, video uh, sorry next problem so here uh, it's 
saying a group of eight friends want to play double tennis how many different ways uh, can the group be divided into four team of two people four teams of two people okay so what you can do here is okay so now you have four teams right let's say team one team two team three team four okay for the first team let's choose two people right so you can choose two people in eight c two ways right out of eight people you can you can choose two people in eight c two ways right then you are left with six people so you you can select this team in six c two ways right now after four people are gone you can select this one in four c two ways and this one in two c two ways right so basically the total number of ways of selecting the teams would be 8c2 into 6c2 into 4c2 into 2c2 right okay so this is 8 factorial upon 6 factorial into 2 factorial this is 6 factorial into 4 factorial into 2 factorial into 4 factorial into 2 factorial 2 factorial and 2 factorial upon 2 factorial zero factorial so six factorial six factorial gone four factorial four factorial gone two factorial two factorial gone so this is eight factorial upon two into two into two into two that is eight into two sixteen so this gives you seven factorial upon two factorial now you have to understand one more thing uh, here we have ordered the team in one two and three and four but this doesn't really matter because you just have to make four teams and it doesn't really matter where whether these guys are in the first team or these guys in the second team so this arrangement is not really necessary here because it's just division it's just selection combination so the arrangement doesn't really matter so we have to you know factor out the arrangement part from here so you know these four guys can be you know four places or four teams can be you know uh, arranged in four factorial ways and that is how much we have to divide these guys with seven factorial by two divided by four factorial right so this gives you five into six into seven by two and this would be three so three seven twenty one twenty one into five is 105 so this is the answer so this should be the answer so once again uh, 8c2 6c2 4c2 2c2 but since you know these guys uh, you know the arrangement doesn't really matter so you have to factor out 4 factorial from here right so just divide the uh, the number of ways by 4 factorial and you should get the answer okay so that's about it uh, let's cover you know tougher problems in the next video for now it's goodbye and thanks for watching this and uh, you know make sure that you come back to this youtube channel and, and and look at more videos okay bye bye guys